people from many different cultures have celebrated the summer and winter solstices for thousands of years. For our distant ancestors, dependent on hunting, gathering, and growing, the seasons and the weather played a central role in their lives. The coming of the solstice was a moment to celebrate the return of summer, or the coming of winter. So what is the solstice? The solstice marks the longest or the shortest day of the year, depending on which hemisphere you are in. Why does the length of daylight and the seasons change throughout the year? The answer all depends on Earth's tilt. The Earth is tilted about 23.5 degrees, which causes the seasons and the change in the length of days on Earth. As the Earth moves in its orbit, the tilt of the North Pole changes in relation to the Sun. The day that the Earth's North Pole is tilted closest to the Sun is called the summer solstice. The winter solstice, or the shortest day of the year, happens when the Earth's North Pole is tilted farthest away from the Sun. During Earth's journey from summer to winter solstice and back again, it passes a point where the Earth is not tilting towards or away from the Sun because of its position in orbit. These days are the autumn and spring equinoxes. When the north pole of the Earth is tilted toward the sun, we in the northern hemisphere receive more sunlight and it's summer. Days feel longer because the sun rises earlier in the morning and sets later at night. The summer solstice usually happens around June 21st. This is the longest day of the year for people living in the Northern Hemisphere when we receive the most daylight. It is also the day that the sun reaches its highest point in the sky. At the solstice itself, the sun appears to stand still in the sky for a few days before and after. The word solstice comes from the Latin for sun and to stand still. The winter solstice, or the shortest day of the year, happens when the Earth's North Pole is tilted farthest away from the Sun. The winter solstice usually happens around December 21st. When it is tilted away from the Sun, it is winter in the Northern Hemisphere, and we receive less light. Now that you better understand solstice, think about this. What would happen if the Earth wasn't tilted 23.5 degrees?